Yo, 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 what is going on, guys? What is happening? How are we all getting on? And here we go. Sunday nights. They're not just as good, guys. Not just as lately as they used to be. One major man missing from the entertainment here tonight. But we'll certainly do all we can, guys, to put on the best show possible for him. Uh, Seb, what is going on, my man? What's the crack? Martin JL's in the room. How's you, my man? I'm sure you're going to give it a good go. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you'll give it a, a good blast, all right? Good man, DK10. Yo, T4TC, what is happening, DK10? Guys, he is the man behind all the action here tonight. Uh, doing his best to put it all together. Guys, let me know. Can you hear me okay? Uh, is the audio coming through fine? Uh, please do let me know. Of course, we're back here on GT Sport. Loud and clear on the mic. Happy days, Jasmine. Thank you very, very much. Uh, so, GT Sport it is. Um, and that's where the action is going to be. I do believe the, the lobby's open already. Uh, we're going to go and get a wee look at that in just a wee second, guys. But I do have a wee surprise for uh, before all that. Um, doing a wee bit of digging earlier on. And I did come across something quite interesting. We're going to go and have a wee look at it, if I can remember where the hell it is. No, it's not over there, I can tell you that. Um, give me a wee second here. Now, I had this all sitting perfectly. Oh, here it is. Guys, here it is. Um, it's a wee replay I found on Bullies. Is the mic very low? What about now there? What about now, Seb? Sometimes this mic's a wee bit dodgy. Let me know if it's if it's okay for you there. Let me know if it's any better there now, buddy, please. Does that uh, sound any better, Chef, before I start this? And, uh, and can you hear the game sound as well? Folks, let me know if you can hear the game sound, okay. This is just a wee risk, guys, that we found hey, on the replays on uh, Billy's account. Uh, I'm just going to run through, going to give him one last wee commentary here tonight, just before uh, we get a lap and everything going from. So that's what we're going to do, guys. As soon as you can let me know if you can hear me loud and clear in the mic. And if that game sounds coming through, sounds good. Yeah, happy days. Uh, okay, so a wee bit low. Some of the other boys say it's okay. Uh, this wee mic's not the best. Can hear perfectly. Kurt, turn up your volume. You're right, Catherine. Guys, here we go. This is a wee race we had way back in the day in the Modi 5 Cup for Tanzo. But I was a big advocate for the TRG team. Uh, he, literally, he literally then raced for the DMK DK10 lads, you know, so... We all kind of bounced together and Bully was a big part of all that, folks. So what I was going to do here tonight, what I was going to do here tonight, guys, was run this race through. It's not very long, it's only 16 minutes long. And we're going to do one last big commentary for the 55 yet, and we're going to see how the hell it gets on here. So um, let's go, guys. This is uh, our treat to you. This has all been put together here, guys, with the help of John Johnson from TRG Tanzo and, of course, Kevin Randall from DMK RC Racing, guys. So thank you very much to all the boys, and thank you very much for the offer of even doing this, folks. So bear with me. I'm going to knock the camera off while we do comms. It's always been the way. And uh, I'll see you very soon, guys. But a wee commentary here for Billy here tonight. Sounds grand, Steve. Yeah. Good, man. Good to hear. Sit back. Relax, guys. Let's get it going here. This is just a replay from back in the day. Let's see what we can do. So, and off we go. TRG Cutler leading the way then. Tilly's in P2. Johnny C off the line nice and strong. We've got uh, even, even got that big man on there in P7. I wonder if this keyboard's working here. There he is, look. That's, that's only me, boys. Back when I used to race uh, P7. Is this controller working? Give me a wee second, boys. Try and work this all out between us here. Uh, we've got the Phantom Maverick there in P5, we've got Conrad in P6, there's me in P7, Aldo P8, and we have the 55 8 and P9, you see me flying off the track out of nowhere, but we've got the 55 8 now chasing down his fellow countryman in the form of P1, Aldo later to become DMK Aldo, I do believe Waldy is in the room, Waldy what is going on, 
Uh, we're just getting a wee look here at the 55 8. We're here tonight to give him one last ride here on the sum rig, and that is what we're going to do. 16 minutes of fun and madness. He's been chased down here now. The Oscars, how will the 55 8 react to that? Let's just get a wee look at it. If we move down and jump on board with Oskies 42 as he has we look down the inside here at Willow Springs final turn we know that's an exciting one uh, 55 8 doom and he has the two to stay out of the way Oskies 42 on the hunt here TRG Cutler still leading the way Terry P2 fellow countryman of the 55 8 as well but off we go and they turn one here now at uh, Big Willow always a mad wee track the 55 8 doom and he has to do stay on the track Oskies still chasing him down no We've got myself hanging on the back, running probably in Paddy Last, as you do. 55 8 running a wee bit wide here now. Oski's looking down the inside, going to stick a nose up here, we know. The 55 8 will not give that up too easy, never does, never has. As we move into turn two and three here. On we go. We've got Johnny C having a rare mistake as he slides off the track. Phantom Maverick still run up ahead there as well. 55 8 doing what he has to do again. He was always very, very comfortable on this track here. And round we go. Oski still have a no answer for him here at the minute. We just jump back on then. And there he goes, guys, on his own custom livery. Always a big man for getting his livery ready for the race, guys, for the event. He, he used to take great pride in getting his liveries ready. And uh, you know what? His car was always one of the better ones out there in the grid. And I do believe he even made a few liveries for some of the other lads on the grid as well. Uh, you know, good on him, always always hurting his sleeve, the 55 -8. and done what he had to do, but here he is, running quite nicely here on P7 then, and you know, he's, he's not a million miles away from two very, very fast lads up ahead on the form of the Phantom Maverick 7, we know he was quick, and he's day, and we have P1 Aldo, fellow countryman of the 55 -8. both the Scots giving it a show here on the night, I'm still got Cutler, Connor, Jason, and Terry running one, two, and three up there as well. Just going to jump back on board here now with the 55 8 as he just sees the two lads battling up ahead. What would he have been thinking? Where is he going to put the nose down the inside? That's all he's thinking at this stage. It doesn't matter about Oskis or TRG D4TC now. They're out of the picture. He's going to say he's firmly fixed now on P1 Aldo and the Phantom Maverick. And fought to the floor running them racing medium compounds. Okay, Catherine, hopefully that's a wee bit better. Let me know if that sounds any better there. But on we go, guys. Come on down now to that final turn once again at the Big Willow Circuit. Always one of the more tricky ones for myself there. I've ran wide more than once coming out of here. And I've also known a certain Oskies 42 who <laughs> uh, quite famously got sent flying into the pits and... Everybody's talked about it ever since. <laughs> but on we move, guys. On we move. Still running swiftly here in P7. It's good to see him out in track, guys. And what an opportunity uh, we've had through video gaming. It gives us this opportunity to look back here at the 55 8 and all he could do on the track. Albeit, this, this is probably nowhere near his finest race running here in P7, I know he's had his wins and his podiums the same as everybody else but here he is now, he, he just sees P1 Aldo make a mistake up ahead there and his eyes have lit up fellow Scott or not he'll be looking to get the nose down the inside at every single opportunity being the rooster that he was and on we go Oski's 42 still not having an answer here for him still a fair bit back and for anybody watching this guys, this is of course on uh, an old replay with five minutes gone there. You'll see the time on the bottom left of your screen. This race goes on for about 15 minutes. Um, so just so you can kind of update date of where we are in the race. Absolutely perfect audio wise now Catherine, thank you very much for that. And on we move then guys, five and a half minutes into a 15 minute race. And we've got the 55 yet still running here on P7. However, he is considering driving the nose up the inside. Aldo does enough to close the door, though. I uh, expect nothing less from Aldo. Uh, very, very good wrister as well. He's got Dodd CF14, guys. And that uh, does say a lot about the quality here and the lobbies at the time. Um, Dodds, Aldo, Conrad, all them boys. P7 
plenty of pace here as all those slips around the outside of Duds now. He'll have a nice line into right hander here. And the 55 Yates thinking to himself, do you know what? If you can do it, I can do it. Tags on now the back of Duds CF 14. And on we go. Uh, close that gap next day. I'm sure we're going to see a wee position change very shortly. Now, I've not seen this replay, guys. I am as surprised as you because uh, my car is here in P9 and I'm watching the, the action from the distance so not much I can do about it to be honest if he just dives back on here with the 45 yet this is his time to shine it's good to see him rolling here as he's now closed the gap quite dramatically on Dodge CF14 who's off the back of Aldo actually and it is now fighting the 55 yet back into the action and down the big street to go we're going to dive on another time here to see what he can do keep that nose on nice and tight to Dodds uh, taking the air off him there just Dodds and Aldo punching a big hole in the, uh, the air for him and the 55 yet had no issue tucking in there as he has a wee look around the outside he'll know that's not going to work so he'll just dive back in once again and a uh, slight tap for Dodds he'll not have meant that if he actually caused himself more more harm than anybody else there and on he'll go and guys, anybody that's fished with, uh, with the likes of War Man, the 55 yet they'll know he had, he was a very, very fair racer, but also a very, very aggressive racer. And you know what? All the, the best guys out in track, y you need that wee bit of aggression. You know, you need to make the move. And uh, he was certainly no stranger to making the move. As he's on the hunt nicely here now. Uh, does see F14 up ahead and Aldo. And then, as if that wasn't bad enough, he's... Terry Conrad and Cutler they fend off if he can get as far as that and Oskis and myself D4TC have an absolutely no answer for him here at this stage as he's now on the attack once again here the 55 hit looking down the inside trying to slam the nose down inside it does the F14 doesn't get it done this time though and slipping into that slipstream once again if we dive back on now to my car as we just see I'm trying to try some kind of crazy move down the inside of Oskis he's not going to I've even nearly killed him into the bargain here as we just watch from this view as we see Oskis still trying to close the gap on the 55 yet just up ahead there let's dive on with him actually he's got a better view 55 yet running a wee bit wide there does see 14 with the inside line although He'll know now the 55 yet that he's got the inside line for the next one and he's already got the move done to be fair. Three goals halfway through the event here now guys are just over that and they've got the 55 yet now moving up nicely up on the first place. Let's just jump on with Dud CF14. He's got a good view now. As he's now trying to get the hunt done here with the 55 yet. Who's on his way. He's now got P1 Aldo on his sights. Let's just jump back up with him. And on he goes, and as I say, guys, lovely always on point. He did. He's he spent a lot of time in the liveries. He, he took a lot of care um, with the liveries as well. And he was actually the captain of the 2021 Scotland um, Nations Cup that we ran. He actually, for a short time, he took on the captaincy of the team, um, actually creating all the liveries and everything for all the boys, making sure all the boys were ready to race and, and all the rest of it uh it was it was actually really really good to see um so good on him good on him for for taking such an interest in the and the racing side of things you know and on he goes on the p5 like i say no no stranger to, to run well in, in the race he certainly knew what he's doing that way and myself and the 55 yet had, had plenty of Played off battles here and there. I never quite had the match from though. As he's now sitting nicely on the back of P1 Aldo. You know what? He's bringing it, and Aldo will know all about it. Aldo knows all about the reason. And he'll know when he looks at his rear view mirror right now, he'll see the 55 feet. And you know what? He'll know he needs to get out here pretty quickly. On he comes. What's going through his head? You wonder what he's going to do here. Just keeping that nice, that nice line again, tucking nice and tight in behind Aldo. Aldo's peeled off now into the pits. 
So it must be the case there's going to be one pit in this race, which Tanzo TRG was famous for. There was always a fair amount of strategy involved in their races, so that's what's going to happen here. So Aldo's going to have peeled off then. Possibly changing the compound attire, that was usually uh, a standard thing. Uh, kind of all these different strategies were happening at the time, so that'll be Billy, uh, the 55 8 up on the fourth now. But I would imagine he'll have to take a late pit, as I say, it's probably about a 15 minute race this one. Um, so up on the P4 for now, however, I would imagine, um, is the pit they take here. See some of the other boys going in as well. So we'll see where he ends up, but running nicely here, guys. And like I says, uh, I mean, some reason it is. It is what you make of it, you know. And and what it's doing for us, and what it's doing for this man, is it's given us an opportunity to go back and hang out with him for one more time. Saying his name a few more times here tonight. You know, it's... Where else do you get that? Where else do you get that, folks? And on he goes. Probably peeling off the left out of the pits. Oh... Maybe, <laughs> maybe a lap earlier, 55, maybe a lap earlier, as he kicks up the dust there, and makes his way into the pit for his uh, mandatory pit stop then, up on the P3 for now, let's see if he changes his tyres, what does he do, take on a wee bit of fuel, definitely, a few more laps to go, change on them racing, uh, them racing softs then, out he comes, the 55 8 and P8, and P9, actually, Ossie's just nips through. And Ossie's, has he had his pit then? Yes, he has. So there we go then, a race to the end now. 55 rate run on P9, and I think we have Ossie's just up ahead, and does the F14 as well. So let's see if we can do, got a wee yellow flag. Oh, it's only me. It's only me in the grass and the dust. Nothing to see here. On we go. 55 rate closing that gap nicely. Uh, on Ossie's 42, we know he's got the pace there. Run out a wee bit wide, them tyres still a wee bit cold. Oh, then we go sideways. But can we bring it back? I'm sure we can. On we go, on we go. Easy done there, guys. Tyres picking up a wee bit of dust now. But on we go then. The 55 8 making his way round, and there's probably only about one more lap in this, maybe one or two at the very, very most. And on he goes. Yes, around there, okay. No issues there. Let's see if we can do. We got the in here. See if we take the inside view. I'll jump on here with him. Get him beside him. He's going all right. So yeah, P8 from an Oski says now man's he got the road off that we spun out, but. Uh, anybody who's raced here in Big Willow and Grand Shrugs will know it's, it's not exactly the easiest race to beat. Certainly not at a, a Mazda MX-5 Roadster either. <laughs> but on we go nicely. And he's always on at this stage. Unfortunately due to the spin out he's now lost Duds and Oskies and some of the boys up the front there, but he'll be having a good enough time here. That's 15 minutes up now. This could be the, I think this is the finish line. And three comes. The 55 8 taking the 8th place here on this occasion. I'm sure it's been a pleasure race, must he? Fantastic. And there it was, guys. 
There it was. Just a, just another wee glimpse. Just a wee throwback there. Um, just a wee throwback for you all. Just a wee look at that. And it's, it's good to see that, you know. Now, I want to get in here to the lobby now. Because I know some of the boys are getting this all set up. I'm going to do a wee lap here as well. Now, let's see if I can... Bear with me. There it is there. It's been a wee while since I've been on the, the Grand Chosen Sports Show. So bear with me guys when I find my parents here. We'll get ourselves sorted out. Just join the lobby here now with DMK DK10. And there they all are. Good crowd here tonight. DK10, Joyce A. Oskies, number one, Pop Suicide, Sam, Ricky J, Choggy, Martin JL, Baldy, Scrabble, Yaz, and Piper. Good showing up here for the boys tonight. Let's get a look at the settings. We're at the Dragon. Trail Gardens. Um, we've got a 20 minute race here tonight, guys. It's going to be a good start. Uh, stuff stream, real, all the standard things you expect. Tire wear off, yeah. Not going to worry about that tonight. We're in the GR4s. I do believe we're in the McCann Trophy uh, on the race of Sauce Racing Hards, okay. And not too many assists on show here tonight. These guys don't usually need it. And what you're going to see here tonight, guys, is all these boys are all going to be running a livery that was actually made by the man himself. So let's, let's go through and get a wee look at them. Chucky's running this one. You see the you see the, the marks for Scotland on there, Scottish flags on the merge, all the wee accents. Gaz is running this one. These, these liveries are all made by Billy Miller, guys. And the McGann Trophy was one of his favourites, so all the boys decided to run them here tonight. Ricky Che, <laughs> he prefers them down the track, guys, but he's also got the livery on. Waldy's run this one, that was from the Nations Cup, from when Billy was a captain of the team there. Martin JL has this one on here. He's just going to make his way out of the pits. <laughs> Martin JL says... <laughs> He loved Fuji. No, he didn't. But I'll tell you, he did love Fuji. Burton JL didn't mind it. <laughs> As Burton JL makes his way out of the pits now. He's running that wee livery there as well. So I see one of the better ones. Scrabble's here. He's That's also the livery that Billy was using in, in the Nations Cup as well. Suicide Sam has this one on. Scottish accent again. And DK10 running the same one as well. Brilliant boys, good to see. Now, I do believe at this stage all the boys are going to get themselves all set up here. We're going to do a wee lap uh, for the man himself as well. So, it's going to get themselves all set up here now. Let's get them all lined up behind here. Obviously, he's making his way around as well. All the boys just making their way around, getting themselves kind of lined up here. Good to see Gav's back in the room. TRG Shrubble's left the room. Um, I can see that uh, GT Sport has not bucked up its ideas anyway. <laughs> Waldy is face first in the wall. Uh, Ricky J is making his way into the cluster now. Joyce is already there. Martin JL has decided to put a time in. <laughs> DK 10's lined up. Waldy's coming back the wrong way. You'll have to see it. Number one pops is here. And Suicide Sam is in the cluster as well. And. Chucky shot the fastest lap, guys. <laughs> Excellent. All the boys just get themselves all set up. Okay, so I'm going to knock off the camera again just for the commentary. And I'll see you shortly after it. I do believe uh, Piper, D10 Piper, is going to be leading this one away. 
It's been a nice slow lap, guys. Nice and relaxed, easy going. Um, just a wee lap in memory of Billy Muller, aka the 55 Yet. Scrabble's joined the room, better late than ever. Let's go, Scrabble. You see Piper pulling out there now, guys. Uh, out ahead of all the other drivers as he sets himself up for the lap. And there's DMK, DK10, the chat there, just instructing the guys here now on what's going to be happening. He is the man leading the whole thing here, and a credit to him. As we're just going to wait now on D10 Piper to get himself sorted. I think we put Scrabble uh, just making his way out of the pit, some technical issue there. We'll wait for him. DK10 just right in the chat saying free laps coming now. DK, that is perfect, my man. Thank you. He's just organising things. He's the man with the timekeeping. And uh, great turnout here for uh, for Billy as well. It's good to see all the support from the gaming community. As we're just waiting on Scrabble, he has to make his way around here now. Unfortunately, that is uh, that's GT Sport for you guys. The odd wee glitch here and there, you know. <laughs> but we uh, we got through it. We got through it okay. And this game was uh, massive for a lot of people, me included, over the lockdown as well. And we really did all come together. It's good to see. See if we can find Scrabble. Oh. Don't know what that is. On the boys there. Scrabble just making his way around here. He's the big straight to do. He's on his own. Comes in now for the final turn here. The Dragon Trail Gardens doesn't want to lose it here. Doesn't want to lose the back end here, Scrabble. And as he makes his way around nicely. And we're going to join back up now with Piper. Don't know why that keeps happening. I join up here now with Piper, so he's going to lead the boys away on the parade lap. And here we go. Round we go, guys, and what a spectacle. Burn jail flashes lights. Nice and easy. It's not going to be a fast uh, lap, guys. Just nice and slowly. All the boys taking their time. All lining up nicely, all those different deliveries, all made. All created and made by Billy Miller himself. Certainly patriotic. You can see that it shines through in the liveries as well. You always see those little uh, markings of Scotland there on the liveries. Come all the boys. It's all it's all built into them to, to go as fast as they can down these back streets, but they'll not do it this time. But there is gonna be a race, guys, there is gonna be a race as well. We're gonna get a chance to see these boys in action. It's gonna be a 20 minute race here. All the boys just making away around nicely. There he is, TRG Scrabble. The main man with Tanzo Racing Group. TRG Gals, there you can see. He has won a few championships as well. Always very strongly against Billy. And Piper leading away.
and through the was it like a hexagon section the next time you see these boys coming through here it may not just be as calm or as tame there'll be plenty of action here all the boys just getting a bit of a slalom now almost their way of waving goodbye Feel the lights starting to flash now. Here they come. Good on you lads. Fantastic. Ricky J. Make his way around. There he is. The man. DMK. DK10. He is the man behind all this here tonight. Once again, thanks very much for the opportunity for, for doing this. Well done for everything you've done and achieved over the time here with the sun racing and only a short year. All the guys just pull up there now to the line. And that's it guys, that concludes it, the parade lap for the 55-8. Billy Muller. Fantastic guys, well done. And just uh, one one last audio check there, Catherine, if you would. Having some slight issues for the mic here tonight, guys. Please bear with me. You can hear the, the waves go up a wee bit. I feel like something's going to happen. I guess okay, there will be a race taking place now very, very soon as well. Going to be a 20 minute race here. Possibly just a sprint. Good. As long as the audio's fine now, that's grand. And to be fair, I'm usually shouting. <laughs> so that could be it as well. DK10 just pulled up behind Shoggy there. Can't help but give him a wee nudge. <laughs> You can actually see the uh Oh suicide Sam is going on look at this <laughs> These boys You know what you can see the You can see the sportsmanship on them you can see the the want to overtake the man in front They're only supposed to be driving around here nice and slowly But uh, <laughs> the the want and the need to overtake the man in front Sometimes <laughs> they get a bit carried away, you know. Suicide sound going off. I can hear Billy laughing now. He'd have been screaming his head off. He's got himself back into the, the cluster now, Suicide Sam. Oh, number one pops has, has spun around. I, I feel that could be intentional. All the boys, no, maybe not. I think all the boys are making way into the pits then. Brilliant. So that'll, that'll bring the end of the of the parade lap then for uh, the one and only Billy, Billy Miller. All the boys make their way in there. Steve Hills in the room. Steve, good evening. Thoughts go out to Billy's family. Absolutely, Steve. Number one pops didn't get the memo. <laughs> Shows he goes to the pit, son. <laughs> uh, these boys, you know, they're all here for the crack as well. Number one 
going past, kicking up a wee bit of smoke there now. Uh, DK Tern just informed us, guys, that the race is coming soon. Happy days, let's go. And even though, guys, this is something of a friendly, that don't that'll not take away anything from the race. And each, each and every one of these guys, they're all here for one thing as well. Other than the big man himself, they're all here to want. They always want to want. So I'd imagine there'll be plenty of uh, a wee bit of entertainment here tonight as well. And why not? Joyce heating the tyres up on the began trophy now. Gaz getting himself set up. I haven't seen this man in a long, long time. Over a year since I've seen TRG Gaz on the track. Certainly good to see him on here tonight. Waldy GT84 can be as good as anybody. If he keeps the track, Oscar's 42. Newly crowned Grand Master through the DMK DK10 lads. Good on you, Oscar's. Good to see. Get faster and faster all the time. Chuggy, we know he can do it. Like I say, guys, don't be fooled. There's not a person out in this track here tonight that wouldn't mind the one. They'll still be going for it. They'll still be racing. You'll still get entertained. This man's quick as well. D D10 Piper, he can do it on his night. Waldy, number one pops. Lost it in a parade lap. Could you bet it? <laughs> Ricky J, we know he can do it. Using pink. Of course, Ronald Billy's lovely here tonight. And he's actually having a wee look down the inside of Scrabble here. Scrabble will not be having it. Scrabble will not be having it. Sticks the nose down anyway. Suicide Sam, I don't think I know him. I know most of these boys, I don't think I know Suicide Sam though. DK10 just getting a Sambo, getting himself set up, wrist starting now, good luck all, good luck to all the boys. And go easy on me boys tonight, like I say, it's been more than a year since I was on this game. And even longer since I've done a commentary, so be gentle. But I'll certainly miss Billy coming in and give me a bit of stick all the same. He used to very efficiently call me Welsh Murray because of my strong Irish accent. I don't know. You explain it, guys. <laughs> but that's what I've done. But guys, here we go. This is just a random grid, by the way. There was no qualifying or nothing like that. Just a random grid. We're actually going to start with Oskis on pole position. It's all on. And off we go. Like I say, guys, don't be fooled. These boys will all be here for the one. And the lights out. And we are off and running. Oskis off to a decent start. He's hangs on the P1 for now. And they turn one. We go. Chucky has a wee lock down the inside, though. And Oskis runs it nicely down. Chucky P2 DMK10. He is, whatever his name is, he's in P3, Gaz in P4. He's never shy, he's actually got a wee bit of contact with DK10 now. Down to P5, Piper up the P3, and these guys are already at it. As Ricky J on the grass, he's going to spin around him while he's up to P5. Martin JL, P6, USA Sam, P7, number one pops, P8, DMK, DK10. He's down to P8, number one pops. He's in ninth, Joycey 10th, Scrabble 11th, and Ricky J. Thomas to the bottom of the pack. He's in P12, guys. And Oski's leading the way into lap one. He goes 0.8 of a second out in front. Can he do it here tonight? Chalky looking good now in P2. Piper, P3, keep an eye for him. Gaz, through it all, has came through to P4. And he's dropped Burton Jail just a bit uh, in P5. Let's jump on here now with Waldy. What kind of view is that? Come on. Does he jump on here with Waldy? Nope, 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 nope. Don't know what view it is. 
saving do it this way, no we can't. Okay, that's a few of your dynamite guys. While they run the P5, then Martin JL. Where the hell's he? We've lost more GL guys. Number one pops on the back of Aldi though. Can leave we look we look down the inside, not this time. Uh, DK10 run the seventh and Scrabble eighth, Ricky J and ninth. And Martin JL has got it wrong. He used to be one of the quickest guys in this game, guys, but he has since joined the big world of Iris and and he's I suppose he's struggling a wee bit just to come back to Grand Trust. It's a fair bit different to be fair. And Suicide Sam tumbles down to P12 then. Ofskis leads the way. Still in P1. However, Chalky's not letting him get away. He's actually pulled it right up behind him now. Point 0.2 of a second behind him. And point 0.1. He's got the stuff stream. Oh! Ofskis closing the door now as Chalky has a wee lock down the other side. <laughs> that got uh, that got tasty there. And Ozzy's coming in to the sharp right here. And the hairpin runs out a wee bit wider than Chucky. He has to stick with P2 for now though. And oh my god, nicely Chucky had a wee look round the outside once again. Not good enough this time. Piper now falling off the back. We've got 1.6 seconds off the top two. However, if they keep battling out, it will have an opportunity a wee bit later on. Uh, TRG Gaz, you know, for a man that's not been on the track for a long, long time, he's running quite currently there at P4 at the moment. What about a podium? Waldy run the P5, looking good. Waldy, uh, about a second off Gaz. However, he is still in the slipstream. Very, very important here at Dragon Trail Gardens as well. Number one, Popso. He is on the hunt now, only 0.5 of a second behind Waldy himself. He's actually close to get a point 4.3 now as they come in to the double hairpin here. And going down the strip, he may stick with this one actually. His number one pops now should have the drive on Wally, although he's got it wrong. He's run away a wee bit there, and he has allowed Wally just to drive away once again back up to point four of a second. DMK, DK10 now running P7. You would imagine he's got it all to do if he's to join the top six at this stage. Uh, however, he has pulled a nice one second gap on Ricky J. 1800 who's running in P8 there now. He has dropped Scrabble, who's four seconds behind that. Uh, we have Joythy, who is one and a half behind Scrabble. There he is, one and a half behind Scrabble. He's actually closed the gap quite quickly. Uh, and Suicide Sam, two seconds behind that. Uh, where's Martin JL? He's still here. He's just got that move on Suicide Sam, who's just got it wrong. Running a wee bit deep into one of the hardest chicanes in the game, I have to say. Martin JL now running on P11, keep an eye on him. He can still do it. Now up here on P1, uh, there's been a big change because now DMK Chucky 12 is leading the way. Uh, Piper's up the P2, Gaz is up the P3, he's in a podium position. And whatever Oskis has done wrong, guys, it's got him really get it down to P4. And he's got his mate Waldy just behind him there. These two like they battle it out, they're good mates in real life. The best of enemies here on the track. You love to see it. All the boys they're making their way down the straight part of the circuit now. So they just jump on me. Oski's 42, so he tries to close the gap now on TRG Gals up ahead. Waldy only 0.7 of a second behind him at the stage as well. Just getting it. Just need to be very, very careful. Getting on a power coming out of this one. You can run away on the grass or you can oversteer and face first onto the wall if you like. But on we go now, Waldy now being dropped down to point 0.9 by Noski's as Chucky's coming under all kinds of pressure here now. Coming into turn 1 once again, Piper's going for the wider line, you'd imagine that'll be slightly faster. If he can, cut the nose on here, but Chucky will hang on to the defensive line, run into turn 2, and he still goes on ahead. And look at this for a battle, guys. Oh, Gaz, trying for a wee move, why the hell not? Chucky does come out the better though, he's still on P1, Piper P2, Gaz round the outside of Piper up on the P2 for himself, Piper's on the P3 and Oski's with one of the best views on the track, he's on P4 now. And guys we're going to certainly go back to that one but let's get a wee look down the grid at some of the other lads, what's going on up there though? Did I see smoke? Gaz, oh Gaz moves on the P1, gets it all wrong guys on the hairpin and spins round, round and round, he goes, he's now down to P6. And it could be a lot, a lot worse for him as Chucky now regains P1, Oski's P2, Piper P3, Wally P4, number one Pops has moved his way up to P5 and he's now joined the action. And Gaz now down to P6 and it could be worse because DK10 is on the back of him as well. Oh, it was all going so well for Gaz, DK10 now on the hunt. As he's a wee look down the inside, not this time, no, Gaz into the right-hander. 
Round he goes, DK10 off the back of him. Ricky J now, where's he? He's in P8, 2.3 seconds off the back of the action. Strabo is a further 8.5 back. Joycey 1.7 behind that. Suicide Sam not having it all his way. He's gone deep and out onto the pink stuff. You don't ever want to touch the pink stuff. He's in P11 and Martin JL. Oh, Martin JL. Martin JL. Let's go back and see what the hell happened to Martin JL. Ah, hitting the pink stuff, I told you. Don't hit the pink stuff. Ah, and broadside into the barrier. Very, very unlucky. And up here in P1 we have DMK Chuck A12 leading the way nicely. Seven minutes into this event, folks. And off they go. One second now ahead of Vlasky. He's 42. He's made his way back up to P2. DK. No, it's not his D10 Piper, sorry, he's only 0.2 of a second behind him. No, had the wheel up down. The inside coming into the chicane, or coming into the hairpin, my apologies. He gets the move done, but Oski's getting a super, super tight line as he moves back into P2 again. Up he goes and leaves Piper on the outside. He'll surely be too slow through here. He'll take the inside for the next right hander, though, through. He goes. Oski's 42 is back into the inside line again. Once again, that's him back up the P2. Paper has now got the best line for the next one. What a track this is, guys. Paper's surely going to move back to P2, and surely he does. There he goes. Through he goes. P2 for Paper. Oski's down to P3 with uh, Baldy GT84 running door to door. Well, now, best mates in real life, best of enemies on the track. Side by side, they come three wide now. Number one pass joins the party. He's in P5, and as he takes a step team off, Baldy Oski's has an opportunity to take. The inside line now coming to double chicane once again. Number one pops going round the wide line. He'll get the better drive out here now as he takes on a wee bit of grass. So he will have a beautiful drive on uh, Oskis and Waldy as they line up on the match delivery from P3, P4. TRG Gaz has made his way back to P6. So good on you, Gaz. And DK10 not getting him a minute's piece. And P7, he's only. What is he now? 0.4 of a second behind him. They're still going grand. Having a wee duck down the inside when they can. Ricky J running 8th place. 3.2 seconds off DK10. Would you imagine he is starting to close that gap though? Same can't be said for this man, TRG Strabo. He has now been dropped now. 12.8 seconds off the back of the pack there. Joycey has now closed the gap. 0.5 of a second behind him. Will we see a bit of action between the boys? And I know. These boys are all running serious, serious gear. Scrabble's got a fan attack to his name. I think Joycey has as well. These boys are running heavy gear here as well. Let's see what they can do with it. Uh, Scrabble's point a tenth. He's pulled a tenth on him though. Joycey back to point six. Suicide Sam now 4.2 back in P11. Martin Jails back on track and back on the tarmac. Back and risen 5.2 seconds off the back of the pack. Chalky holding that fast lap with a 136.5. And starting to feel a wee bit more comfortable out in front. He's been here before. 3.2 seconds now and looking fairly comfortable. He's having it all his own way now. And Piper in P2. Looking good enough there. Looking comfortable now with 1.6 seconds between himself and Waldy. Waldy running though in a podium position. Be careful, Waldy. Be careful, Waldy. We've got Oski's running the P4, number one pops, not far away either, guys, on P5. Starting to close the gap now, top five, nice and close. Seen to have dropped TRG Gaz a wee bit though. Number one pops now, starting to close that gap on Oski's. 0.5 the gap. As well as these boys getting on, Chuck A on his own, Piper, all on his own, Waldy, all on his own. Oh, number one pops has got it wrong, guys. Let's take a wee dive back. What has happened to your man, number one pops? As we just dive back with him here on the action replay. He hits the curb, gets it wrong. Leaves him narrow for the exit of the chicane. And back wheel hits the grass. Round we go. But what a recovery that was. And he's right back and under P5. Well done to him. He's actually down to P7 by the time the replay was finished up there. Gaz up to P5 then. Gaz been hunted down now with DK10. The number one pops on the back of that. It's starting to get hairy. Gaz getting it wrong once again though. He invites the boys there. Number one pops and DK10 right through. That's DK10 up to P5 now. Having a decent base. Number one pops P6. Gaz down to P7 then. 
Ricky Che on his own. 3.3 uh, away from Gaz on a full 18 and a half ahead of TRG Joyce, who has got the move done on Scrabble though. As he moves up into P9, Scrabble down to P10 then. And he appears to be losing time to Joyce, who's running a wee bit wide but done enough. Scrabble P10, Suicide Sam P11. And Martin JL has got himself back in the action here as well. As he's now pulled himself back to only one second from the pack and he was it was well off the pack it was well off the pack and here he is now close that gap right up oh he's gone deep though but there's Scrabble going deep as well what has he done Scrabble going deep guys let's have a wee look back at him so just see Scrabble there just get that wrong going face first on the barrier suicide Sam invited through then just join the live action once again Travel P12 then allows Martin JL to move up into P11. And let's get a look at the, the boys up here. Chucky has only gone and extended his lead, guys. That's 12 and a half minutes into the race here now. And it's a 20 minute event. You just see there uh, the timer on the right hand side of your screen, guys. Seven and a half minutes left to go. And Chucky has only gone and extended his lead out in front here. What a lad. We knew he was fast. And these guys all really wanted here tonight, guys. Don't get me wrong. Uh, five and a half seconds out in front. Absolutely flying. D10 Piper. Looking comprehensive here in P2 as well. Plenty of battles going on. Maybe this orange livery was a lucky one. But look on Grant now. Done a great job leading the boys round on their, uh, their parade laps. D10 Piper. And he's now running nicely here in P2 as well. Good to see. Waldy now running nicely in P3 as well. Uh, he has his mate Oski's running about half a second behind him. This will be interesting. Gets turn one okay on the night though. And you just see T10 Piper just up ahead of him there as well. As we just actually join. Let's have a wee look on here from Oski's 42. Just join the front of his car. You just see as he chases, chases Waldy GT84 straight through the chicane. They're both lads getting that spot on. And it is a very, very difficult chicane, guys. Don't get me wrong. You see Oski's 42 actually slamming a purple sector there as well. As he has a wee look down the outside of Waldy because he's gone fully defensive. But if Oski get this right, guys, they get the switch back. He will have the better drive. He's hit the wider line. He'll have the better drive. Waldy will hang on to the inside line. No. Oski's will dive up the inside. Surely. Oh, cheeky, cheeky. As Waldy just closes the door there on Oski's 42. That's cheeky, cheeky now. Uh, obviously he's handy back out to avoid the collision and on we go and Waldy hanging on his P3 mmm <laughs> mm, how did that go but on we go lads we'll leave them with it for now uh, Oski's P4 then uh, number one pops P5 and he's been chased down now by DK10 as well TRG Gaz on the back of the action this could turn into a good battle we just see DK10 flies his lights there at number one pops Still have no he's there. Maybe try and put him off a wee bit if he can. Oh, we go with the double. Uh, hairpin here, down on the back straight. Need to get this one right though. Uh, number one pops, getting it wrong. Run a wee bit wide there. That will surely invite DK10 into the action. And Gaz is still in the slipstream here. Point 0.8 of a second as well. And surely DK10 will have a wee look down the inside here. No, he doesn't. He opts just to stick with the, uh, the plan for now. Usually... You would imagine they put the nose down there, but he has a plan. He might be to after the chicane here and maybe make a move down the back straight. That is another possibility. Both slabs going to be a bit deep on the chicane. That'll surely invite Gaz and DK10 getting a wee bit wrong there. Just bouncing a wee bit high off the care, but that's okay. He's done enough to hang on to it. That will invite Gaz in. Now he's only 0.3 of a second and closing the gap here on the two lads. On they go. Ricky J now, he's only zoned 6.7 seconds from the boys. Uh, and he is 24 and a half seconds ahead of this man, DMK Martin Shell 09. Uh, but he showed himself up to P9, guys, uh, from being a million miles away up to P9. Going well, Joycey is still hanging on to P10. Uh, now starting to pull that lead on TRG Scrabble, four seconds ahead of him now. And looking good here for Joycey for that top 10 at least. Travel P11 and bomb it down the back straight. And Suicide Sam has got it wrong somewhere along the way, guys. And bouncing over that curve as well. Oh, he's just got it wrong on that chicane. Maybe it's the case here. Suicide Sam just doesn't know this track as well as the boys. Um, 
and it is a difficult one to learn, it really is. Uh, you see Joycey tumbling down the pack, what on earth has happened there? Um, we'll take a wee look at the replay. So here we are guys, with TRG Joycey running nice and P10. Uh, you see him going a wee bit deep there, uh, getting on a power too early, and like you are, tails face first and to the barrier as Scrabble passes him sideways you absolutely love to see it guys and on he goes Scrabble off to P10 Joycey P11 and Suicide Sam P12 DMK Chucky still P1 and still pulling the gap guys one and a half or was it a 136.2 now he's still hanging on that fastest lap as well looking good and then there's something crazy happens here now in the next three minutes you'd imagine this man DMK Chucky will certainly be the man on the top step of the podium here tonight Another man looking good for the podium is D10 Piper. What a battling uh, early on in the race, but he's uh, whenever he's kind of drove away from the rest of the pack, he's he's looked good enough. He's looked comfortable. He's certainly not challenging Chalky 12 at the minute, but he's, um, he's he's more looking more than good enough for P2 at least at this stage. Oski's 42 has actually got the move done on Waldy. Then we we were looking at them. Guys, earlier on, we did see Waldy slam the door in his face there. <laughs> but Oski's 42 does get the move done, and he's off the P3 now, looking good for a podium here as well. Uh, unless Waldy has an answer for him, which at this stage doesn't seem likely, as he's now lost that toe as well. That's okay. Number one pass, P5 here. And with DK10, who's running it a wee bit wide, in. he was just about to slip screen, but he certainly lost it now. That lot helped his case for a top five. And Gaz, who had a great start to the race, guys, but kind of fell off then towards the end. Um, and who can blame him? Hasn't been on the rig in over a year. Uh, but here he is here tonight, doing his bit. Uh, P7 at the minute. Ricky J running P8. And he's kind of had a wee wrist on his own, Ricky J here tonight. There's been nobody uh, kind of too bothered about him. He's been doing it all his own way. As he goes in through his cane. And on he goes. Martin JL still holding that P9. You'd imagine or not. Go forward or back at this stage. 23 and a half seconds in front. And 15.2 seconds the guy behind him there. And that's Scrabble and P10. Who's, he's actually looking okay now. But he has been challenged. Uh, Scrabble holding that fourth gear very, very long. I'm pretty sure this gear should be an early change up. I think so, anyway. But Joycey put them under pressure. Uh, this could be the last lap as well. This could be the last lap. Just see Joycey here now, is he? Oh my god, let's see if we can find a view. Just see Scrabble. How's he going to do it? He's certainly got a lot of damage to the rear of the vehicle. Joycey trying to get. Oh, just getting a wee bit excited there, Joycey. Trying to get the power down to Scrabble while he gets to drive away on him. And on he goes. Scrabble hanging on to P10 for now. Suicide Sam about 13 and a half seconds off the back of the pack. Just a mistake. Too many you would imagine for Suicide Sam. And Chucky certainly on his final lap now. 7.7 .7 seconds out in front. You'd imagine the longer it goes the further he gets away. This is his last lap. D10 Piper's on his final lap. Same can be said for Oskis who is now coming under pressure. Once again from Waldy GT84. What a finale they're going to have. Um, everybody's all came through. Number one pops in his final lap. DK10, Gaz, Ricky J, Martin JL, Scrabble. Scrabble's on P10. I think Joycey got it wrong. No, he didn't. On they go. And Suicide Sam as well. So the first man to come through here tonight will be Martin JL09 then. Well done, my man. Here was the first man to finish off. The timer has now ended. And it'll be P9 for him. Well done, Martin JL. P9 for you. Scrabble's going to come through on P10, or is he? Because Joycey's here. Joycey, Scrabble. Who's going to take that P10, guys? Oh, I think it's Joycey. Joycey takes P10, Scrabble, P11. But what's, what's going on back here? What's, what about these two? Wally's fell off the back of Oski's again there. Chucky making his way around now. He's nearly finished up as well. He's surely going to take the one. But we're going to see Suicide Sam from the three here in P12. Uh, so he's going to get across the line after the timer. P12 for him. Good man for sticking it out though. Very, very easy to give it up. Uh, we've got Chalky guys coming around the final corner. 
uh, here at Dragon Trail Gardens. And he's going to be your runner here tonight, guys. That's DMK Chaggy 12. Make no mistake about it. He was here, they won it, and he did. D10 Piper surely going to take P2. Ah, uh, save age, obviously. It. Oskies will take the podium then. He's on P3. Waldy P4. Uh, number one pops. Uh, fifth, DK10. Sixth, Gaz. P7. Uh, Ricky J is going to come through in P8. There wasn't too much in it, to be fair. Through he comes, Ricky J. You love to see it. That's P8 sideways. As uh, you do. And the rest of the boys are all finished up. Martin J is on P9. Joyce P10. Scrabble. P11. And Suicide Sam in P12, guys. Well done. Well done to you guys. Unbelievable event. Billy would have been over the moon. Uh, there he is. Your runner. DMK Chuck A12. He was your runner. And he had the fastest lap as well. What a guy. What a guy, guys. What an event. What an event. These boys can do it. And you know what? There's not a thing wrong with Grand Trismo Sport. <laughs> Chucky12, thank you very, very much, my man. That went well. <laughs> Aye, that went well, buddy. That went well, eh? <laughs> uh, you didn't do too bad. You didn't come last. You didn't come last. That was good. <laughs> there's, a, there's a fair difference in this game, man, compared to... Uh, Compared to to a racing and stuff, you know, there really is a massive difference. Seb's it's fantastic race, guys. Absolutely right. Absolutely right. Now, let's get a wee look at the final results, then, guys. Here it is. The official results are as follows: DMK Chucky 12. He was your winner comprehensively, and P1 five seconds out in front. He also had the fastest lap on a 136.2, and it never was contested. Uh, D10 Piper was in P2, Lock comfortable for most of the race to be fair, well done D10. Oskies 42 was uh, contested quite vigorously there by Waldy GT84, Oskies was P3, Waldy P4, number one pops looked good for the P5, most of the race to be fair, DK10, DMK, DK10 did really really well. Uh, they took that mid-table finish there in P6, TRG Gaz, what a return he's had, uh, T, uh, P7. You would imagine that he could have been a wee bit higher up, had luck on his way. Ricky J always looked good for the P8, was on his own for most of the race. Uh, DMK Martin JL was lucky to come back and take that P9 after hitting every single barrier on the track. TRG Joyce, did in fact round up that top 10 in some style, just beating Scrabble on the line. Who takes P11 and Suicide Sam does go ahead and round up the ground in P12 and guys... Like I said, DMK Chucky 12 did go ahead and take the fastest lap on a 136.2 on lap 8. Fantastic. And the CRG Gaz, right, this is. That was for Billy. Number one pops is RIP Billy. Gaz says, sorry if I hit anybody. I'm sure you're going to be okay, Gaz. Ricky J says, thanks, guys. No problem, Ricky J. DMK DK10 says thank you bro you're more than welcome you're more than welcome DK and uh, what an event well done now I know you boys can't be hanging around you s I know you have a wrist um, you have a wrist here tonight as well don't you yeah I think I have boys on a wee, wee discussion about the race now and that's that's to be expected um, I want to see if that replay boys because that was that was really good how do you see a replay in this game Oh, there. It's only been a while. Uh, you thought it was going to be seaside? <laughs> well, I can see... Um, I can I can see the difference. I can see the problem there. Martin JL, I really can. I can see... I can see where uh, that went wrong. Oh, wow. Brilliant, says DK10. Absolutely brilliant, boys. I'm well done. I mean, Billy would have been over the moon. It would have been slagging every single one of us, to be honest. Uh, but... You know what, guys? He's done him proud here tonight. Um, 1805. Good evening. Good evening, my man. How's things? Hope, you, hope you're having a good evening. TK10 says, yeah, the Premier League's coming on. Guys, that's me worth a watch. Um, where can they watch that, DK? Is that streamed live, is it? It is streamed live. That's the, that's the Dark Smoke event, isn't it? I'll certainly be tuned in and watch it anyway. Guys, fantastic stuff, hey, seriously. So, guys, seriously, uh, what time does the, the race start at uh, DK10?
Piper just uh, telling Gaz he was already spinning. I think he was. Oski's my man. Good evening. Good race, good podium. Where's all this pace coming from? What about Wally close the door on you? Yeah? <laughs> we seen it. We seen it. Okay, guys, so there you go then. The um, the Premier League has been streamed live on the DMKD10 uh, was it YouTube page. YouTube page. Qualifying starts at 8 o'clock. Please do tune in. I'll certainly be there. Uh, Martin Jail, absolutely no problem at all. Man, it's been my pleasure and what a way to come back. Always good to see all the boys on track and some legends there too seeing uh, TRG Gaz coming back. Unbelievable. Good to see him back on the, the track as well. For how long, I don't know. But it was certainly good to see him out there. Good to see Scrabble out there. You know, like I say, we, ha we had a good... Uh, we had a good summer. Grand Trusman Sports not gone yet, guys. It really isn't. Brought a lot of guys back. A, a great community spirit there as well. DMK Chalky sticking in the, the rest in peace, Billy. Absolutely. And we've got Gary Arrow has just described Gaza. My man, thank you very, very much for the sub there. Uh, it was good to see you out there, Gaz. Good to see you back on the track. I mean, unbelievable. Really, really good to see you. See, you're, you're still doing the cycling anyway. You're a better man than me. No doubt about it. But guys, I think Billy would have been absolutely... Uh, he'd be absolutely over the moon with uh, what he's done there for him there tonight, you know. Some of the stuff he's done there was, was fantastic. He put on a big race like that as well. Um, what's, are, you in the, are you in the Premier League? <laughs> <laughs> Are you in the Premier League? <laughs> uh, Seb, thank you very, very much, my man. I really do appreciate that. And I've seen a few likes coming in there, guys. Thank you very much for likes as well. Thank you very, very much. And of course, to Gary Arrow for the subscribe there. The support, guys, for, for this channel has been absolutely massive since I came back. And um, like I say, for one reason or another, we, we did have to delete the original channel. But you know what? We're getting back into it now. And thanks very much everybody for supporting the channel through the likes the subscribes and the comments and the views and everything it's it's been unbelievable hey seriously um that's about that guys i'm going to let you boys get off um so you can do a wee bit of practice for your your premier league but before i go i want to know if martin jl is in the, the premier league oh if martin jl is in the yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> yes lad yes Martin JL is a brand's hatch, guys. So don't forget, if you're swatching off now and you're not racing in the in the event, go over to DK10. Man, drop the link there if you want. DK10, drop the link to your uh, YouTube if you feel there. Um, that's where I want you to go, guys. Go and watch that for an event. I'll be tuning in as well. You'll see me in the comments. Um, we're going to see what these boys can do on the track, hey? Let's do it. Let's do it. I can't wait to see it, actually. <laughs> uh, boys you know what we, we all kind of missed this didn't we it's, it's actually unbelievable to get back at it <laughs> well boys listen seriously I'm not going to keep this back I know he's got a wee wrist to go to there so um, I'm going to let these get off here. so guys seriously thank you very very much for all the support recently it's been uh, it's been fantastic it's really really good to see you and uh, seriously all the best moving forward and um for the last time, guys, 55-8, it's been a pleasure. And you take it easy up there. <laughs>